Hello, all. Um, I thought I'd do a follow-up on uh, fixing uh, your Plymouth splash screen if you install proprietary drivers, um, either AMD or NVIDIA, and uh, how to get a different uh, boot splash screen, um, which is called Plymouth. And I made some notes here. It's, uh, it's fairly straightforward. So you want to do like a aptcast cache search Plymouth dash theme in a terminal. So this is in VirtualBox. So same idea. Control Alt T. And then I'll just copy these in to save some copy and paste these in. So the first line, copy. And I'll paste that in. And you can see there's different ones here. Um, one of the popular ones is the uh, solar. This one. So I'll copy that. I'll clear the screen. And sudo apt dash get install and paste that in. Press enter. Password. Once it's finished updating, uh, just one more command. I mean, two more commands. Uh, this one, you can uh, sudo um, update dash alternative two dashes config default dot python Plymouth. Sorry. <laughs> Copy that in, um, into the terminal. So I'll paste that in here. Press enter. As you can see, there's uh, the default is the Ubuntu logo, and the one that we just downloaded was the Solar. So you pick a number, which would be uh, just number one, and press enter. And then finally, we'll update the uh, init RAM file system with that this command and uh, that should be it so we'll close up the terminal and close the notes here okay let's try a shutdown and a restart uh, you might you might see the um, new logo in the restart but the uh, when it boots up it just you don't even see it so restart there it is that's the uh, solar <laughs> boot screen sorry I couldn't make it more uh, Exciting, but uh, that's an example of how you would do that. Oh, there you go. You just saw it very quickly there. Okay, so usually on a solid state uh, drive, you you can almost disable the splash screen in your grub configuration, but on a mechanical drive, uh, you know, you can change the way it looks, and there's a ton of uh, tutorials on how to make your own theme or to modify an existing one. There's tons of... Uh, other ones you can download and configure and install um, in Ubuntu. Uh, but since it's uh, Ubuntu's uh, splash screen friendly already out of the box, it's not too hard to at least uh, change it. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, nothing uh, too difficult, just a few commands in the terminal and you're all set, and I imagine there's probably a GUI out there as well to do this for you, but uh, I haven't uh, looked for one. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.